First, an elaborate theft ring targets thousands of Florida's most vulnerable citizens. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Paul Legron in for Jameson. And tonight, investigators tell us at the top of that theft ring, a DCF employee who stole personal information. ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers explains who helped bring down the suspected thieves. Some of Sarasota's University Town Center retailers call customers to say thanks for shopping here. But it turns out, according to detectives, those customers were identity thieves. She is a key player and at the top of the list right here. 48-year-old Burton C. Garcia, a Department of Children and Family Services interviewing clerk, started it all. I can tell you she was an intricate part of this uh, extensive uh, fraudulent activity. Garcia fed personal information about Florida's most vulnerable to a network of thieves, according to detectives. That the alleged actions of the individual involved in this investigation took critical resources away from the children and families who needed it the most. Investigators arrested Garcia and four others they believe targeted 2,000 adults and children who were seeking services from the Department of Children and Family Services, turning sensitive information into fake IDs and credit cards, then buying expensive items like Rolex watches, designer handbags, and shoes. The department is working diligently to begin notifying anyone whose personal identifying information may have been compromised. Sarasota detectives say the thieves racked up upwards of $260,000, ruining credit reports for unknowing victims. There was a, a woman who was trying to purchase a home and her credit is uh, messed up. Detectives say these suspects are from the South Florida area and two have not been arrested. You can find them on our website at abcactionnews.com. In Sarasota, I'm Carson Chambers for ABC Action News.